Okay, in this video, we're going to be talking about something that I've mentioned in the earlier videos a couple times, which is your Squidoo lens. Now, <clears throat> the Squidoo lens is basically a page on a website, but Squidoo has created a cool little term, which is called a lens, and I guess it's kind of their way of saying this is how we see the world or something like that. But um, Google and the search engines love Squidoo, and when you create a Squidoo lens, you're almost guaranteeing that you will be on page one of Google if you do it the right way. And um, what happens is you're going to follow the same rules that I've mentioned in um, <clears throat> the other pages like you know uh, Wikipedia and Google News and the articles and the press releases um, and the SEO video as far as the layout um, but one of the things that's a little different about Squidoo is when it comes to um, going to, let me actually go to Google here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're on Google here and what I did was I just typed in Russell Brunson uh, in quotes and Russell Brunson is a very famous internet marketer and um, so I knew that he would be all over Google for a lot of different terms. And if you look here, it says in quotes, there's over 54,000 sites. Now, 54 is a large amount, okay? With the articles, um, you're talking 20 to 50,000. But over 50,000, <clears> what you'll see here is that on page one, you've got Squidoo right here, okay? And uh, what that tells you is that the search engines like Squidoo lenses. And the reason is, is because you can have a lot of content. Matter of fact, we can take a look at this one in a second. Um, but it, you can have a lot of content on your Squidoo lens that really varies in the different formats. Okay, so to give you an example of um, the different formats of uh, things that show up in the Squidoo lens, which makes it so much more powerful than just a one-dimensional thing like an article, is... I put in here a popular term which is lose weight and just click on the first one and what you'll see here when you scroll down is there's pictures, there's text, um, there's all kinds of different things in here. Um, I'm sure some of these are ads but you know it looks like it's done very professionally. They've got recipes in there. Um, they've got links to their Amazon.com account okay, so that when you buy these books through their link they're making money. Um, they have videos on here from YouTube so it's like a whole website but it just scrolls forever like a long uh, sales page but you can do this for free it doesn't cost you anything to set up a Squidoo lens and what you do is all the different sites that you have and all the different techniques that you use when you promote something or you write a new article or you create a new product or you join a new affiliate program throw it on your Squidoo lens. Create a new one, or if it's relevant and in the same niche and everything, put it on the existing one. And what you'll do is you'll build up the value of it, and it'll dominate on the search engines. So be sure um, when you first start to follow the same techniques I mentioned in the video before this about SEO, and treat it like you know a to-do list. The most important thing is the first thing showing on the page. Okay, take a, a picture of something that's related to it. If it's losing weight, maybe it's somebody that's skinny and attractive or whatever, um, and call that picture, you know, losing 10 pounds or whatever it is that your keyword uh, is that you're optimizing for, and throw it on there and watch the magic happen. Okay, once you do that and you create your Squidoo lens, again, you want to go back to um, Twitter and put that link to your Squidoo lens in there and tweet it and then go to your blog and ping it and actually in the next video I'm going to be showing you uh, some secrets as far as driving uh, traffic with your blog 